Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500 and welcome back to day three on Project Marquee. Let's get on with it. So welcome back. Uh, today we're going to try and sort out this back bumper. Now I'm doing a separate video which I'm filming while I'm doing this. So some of what you'll see in this video will also be in the how-to video. The how-to video may not be released if it doesn't actually work because I've never tried this before. But what we're going to try and do, I've showed you this on the walk around. The chrome has gone from here. So what we're going to try and do is repair it. First of all, I'm going to try it on something else. So let me show you what I've got and how we're going to try and do it. So this is the product that I've got that I'm going to try. It's called Hydrochrome, sorry, Hydroflame Chrome Plating. I've got an instruction leaflet here of how to do it. Now I've seen some videos on YouTube and it actually does what it says on the tin. Um, but I'm going to try, before I try it on the car, I'm going to try it on this. So this is a uh, radiator cap which I've put some masking tape around the very, very bottom of it. So I'm going to try and do the top of it and around the sides of it. Now you put this stuff on with a brush. I don't know whether, because this has got type on it, printing on the top of it, I don't know whether it's going to show through whether the chrome, if the chrome effect works, that it's going to, whether it's going to show through or it's going to be a, 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 um, opaque and you can't see through it. So let's go through the instructions and uh, see how we're meant to do this. So according to this, it works on uh, all parts except for glass, ceramics and faience, whatever faience is. Uh, it should be covered with glossy lacquers or enamel. It's advisable to use heat resistant enamels or lacquers. So it needs to be, if it's outside, if it's going to be used on something that goes outside, which of course this is, it needs to be lacquered afterwards. Um, so after the lacquer is completely dry, degrease with isopro alpo, isopropyl alcohol or soapy water. After soapy water, rinse well with distilled water, dry it, treat it with a gas burn this is a bit sort of Chinese um, translation so we, we try and make some sort of uh, sense of it so okay so we can do it with a brush shake well before use the lacquer is applied by brush or by spraying onto a glossy surface well it's not glossy but by spraying first apply a light spray allowed to dry for 5 to 15 minutes the next layer is glossy drying at room temperature for 25 to 45 minutes and then you use a gun on it the lacquer is burned with a gas burner with smooth movements until a mirror appears. If after the first pass with a gas burner mirror does not appear, in some places, do not try to heat this place again. Let the parts cool completely, and then fire, and then only only then fire. Otherwise, the layer of lac will be damaged from overheating. You can remove the mirror effect with warm soapy water. Obviously, then you put a top coat over it. Hydroflame chrome mirror requires protection from external influences. For this, you can apply 2K acrylic clear coat. So, what I'm seeing here is you're supposed to lacquer it first. So, we're going to do that. We're going to put some lacquer on it. And then uh, we'll leave that to dry. Then we'll degrease it with isopropyl alcohol, which I've got over here. Um, and then it is treated with a gas burner so that the chrome, so the surface is wetted with water, hydroflame. I don't really understand this, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> so, you don't need to dilute it. Um, I'm not really sure with this. I'm not sure whether we're meant to, are we meant to put the lacquer on first? It's not really cl very clear. I don't know if we're meant to put the lacquer on first and then put the put this stuff on. Or that's just going over the fact that we're supposed to do the lacquer afterwards. I'm re not really sure. But I think, reading it, I think we probably need to lacquer it first. And then you put this over the top of the lacquer. So I'm going to try that. Because I, I say, that's why I'm trying it on different things before I actually use it. I don't want to use it all up. Because there's only like a little bottle of it. But let's try it. I'm going to put some lacquer on it. And then um, we'll let it dry and we'll come back. I've got this alloy wheel lacquer here. This is the one I'm going to try using. So it's supposed to be glossy, so we're just going to give it a little spray and see what happens. 
I don't really know how much to put on it. I suppose this, this is giving it a surface that it can grip to, I guess. I'm not convinced this is going to work, but it's worth a try. Right, that's, that's a fair amount of lacquer on it now. One more little pass. Right. So if I use this on the bumper, I'll obviously have to mask the other areas out. So that's the lacquer. So we're going to leave that 10 minutes to dry. And then we'll try getting some isopropyl alcohol. Actually, I won't use the alcohol. I think I will use some soapy water on it rather than alcohol. I'd already degreased that and cleaned it the best I could. Um, so we'll see what happens. So we'll be back as soon as that's dry. Right, it's dry now. I've left it probably 25 minutes, half hour. So I'm just going to, I've got some squirty water here. I'm just going to give it a, I'm not going to rub it. I'm just going to spray it in that. I'm going to put it on a new bit of kitchen towel. I am absolutely intrigued to see what's going to happen with this, if, it, if it's going to work or not. So I'm just going to let that evaporate and let that dry. I don't think it says uh, soapy water. After soapy water, rinse well with distilled water. Oh, blimey, I haven't got any distilled water. Um, never mind, I haven't got any distilled water, so we'll just have to make do with um, squirty water. I, do, I think what I'll do is I'll... Um, I'm just going to run it under the garden tap. I know it's not distilled water, it's ordinary water, but at least it gets off any soap, because obviously that's soapy water, so I just need to get any soap off. So I'm just going to run that under the tap. We'll let it dry off from that, and then we'll come back again, and then we'll, we'll paint this stuff on and see what happens. Right, a few minutes has passed. I think I'm going to have to try, I didn't realise it was a, it's like a little top, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that top out. What I want to do is dip the brush into the uh into the pot i'm not sure i'm going to get that out so i think what i'm going to have to do is find something to put it in um let's try this this is clean just a basic measuring drug drug hopefully no drugs so it's clean because it's brand new i'm just going to put a few drops in i've got no idea how much of this stuff i'm supposed to use and then let's paint it on let's see what happens I'm not convinced of this. Actually, I need a lot more than that. Be good if it does work. I'll be the only of the only Fiat 500 with a chrome radiator cap. That'd be quite funny. So it said if you're spraying, do one light coat with spray and then do another one. But I'm only as I'm brushing, I am doing it. I'm not sure this these sides probably i should have just done the top rather than the sides but this is only an experiment anyway so i'm more concerned about the top working than anything else so i'm, I'm not going to worry about the sides what do we think is this going to work i'm not convinced i'm just going to put a little bit more so i've got no idea how much to use this, this wasn't Mega expensive. I think it was about 12 quid this. I don't really know how far. You know, what sort of level of coat you need. Right, I think that'll do. Actually, I might as well use up what I've got in the bottle, I suppose. What I've got in the um, jug. So this is obviously a chemical reaction of whatever this stuff is and it's the heat that causes it to do its thing okay so what are we saying there? so shape where well, the lacquer is applied by brush or by spraying onto a glossy surface by spraying first apply a light spray layer allowed to dry for 5 to 15 minutes the next layer is glossy drying time at room temperature 25 to 45 minutes so we're in a garage and it's December so I'm going to leave it an hour and then I'm going to come back and get the gas burner on it and see what happens. I mean, I can't wait. This hour is going to be painful for me because it's going to be a long hour. But for you, it'll be instantaneous. So let's go to it now. Just giving the, uh, the old aircon a bit of a blast through. There's a bit of a, bit of a smell when the aircon's on. A little bit fishy. 
it's not much it's only minute but i've got these uh, i know i know i've got the um the smoke machine but i thought i'd use these i've got a couple of these aircon cleaners so you basically put the heater on full blast um put it on recirculation mode with the aircon on and let, leave it for 10 minutes to recirculate and uh, it cleans out bacterializes and so on the um the air conditioning see me cushions in the back there if you uh, follow me on instagram you would have seen a, a picture last weekend of me uh youtube cushions courtesy of aliexpress uh, so we're still waiting for this to dry at the moment um about 20 minutes has passed so i'm not i'm not going to be uh impatient um i'm going to leave it the full hour before i attempt to uh run the, blade, the flame over it and hope that it goes um, chrome not convinced so with that I have um, taken off the, uh, the, little, the tabs uh, and it's been stuck on with uh, two part resin and I'm just holding the ends in while it goes off just to make sure it sticks it's a good tip actually if, you, if you're doing a car and you're trying to find a bumper in colour and you can only find a pop bumper but you need to put those on the pop the difference in the pop bumpers is it hasn't got the slots where it slots in so if you find a pop bumper and you can't find a lounge bumper in whatever color it is you're trying to get buy it and then do what i've done and cut the tabs off and then just use a resin glue uh, and some of the um the trim tape as well the self adhesive trim tape i've used that as well and and stick it on i've done it many times before i've done it with those as well actually i've stuck those on with using that glue as well it works well uh, so yeah another top tip for the day um so yeah i'm gonna leave it another 40 minutes and we'll come back uh, i think that's probably finished it's uh finished spraying now so i've just got to leave it 10 minutes to recirculate um what else have we done here yeah, so I'm, i've not done anything to that because i want to wait until i've tried that bit new number plates on uh, i've tried cleaning up this old number plate i need to get some white spirit on it or something to I tried isopropyl alcohol but it didn't shift it at all managed to get it off the badge there's none left on the badge now but i'll get some white spirit on that because as i say you know i always give these give these plates to the uh or put them in the boot and tell the seller uh, tell the buyer that they're in there anyway uh, enough of this old waffle i'll be back um shortly well shortly for you um when an hour's up oh, i've done some other things on the car that i'm working on today um, and I just can't, it, it probably about another half an hour has gone past, so it's probably had about 40 minutes, and I think it's dry, and I just can't, I can't stand the suspense any longer. Why is this not lighting? There we go, well, right, so, I'm going to attempt it. I don't know how much we have to go over it with a burner, but we're going to try it. See what it does. Going brown. Is that what it's supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, then there's something's happening. Oh, look at that. It's a bit spotty. So it's not exactly smooth, is it? Maybe it wasn't dry enough. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I think probably I haven't let it dry long enough. It's, I'm, I'm sure we're not supposed to set fire to it either. But it's done something. <laughs> well, it looks silver. Okay. The lacquer is burned with a gas burner with smooth movements until a mirror appears. Well, that has not... <laughs> All that's done is melted the plastic, I think. If the mirror does not appear in some places, do not try to heat this place again. Let the parts cool completely and only then fire. Otherwise, the layer of lacquer will be damaged from overheating. I think that's probably what I've done. So it's gone silver, but it looks abs <laughs> absolute rubbish. <laughs> Maybe I didn't leave it long enough. But it sort of worked on the side where are we it sort of works on the side you see that 
it looks a bit on the brown side but so it sort of works but maybe I, maybe I just didn't leave it long enough hmm so <laughs> I don't know whether to try this on the car or not but that looks just maybe that's just me being impatient yeah I think it was worth a try wasn't it and I think I am going to try it on that bumper Hmm. So we'll come back when we've discovered whether it's worked or not. We'll come back after the various phases. So I'm going to mask that out on the back and then I'm going to, I'm going to put some lacquer on it. Morning, welcome back. A few days has passed since the last video. Uh, and as some of you commented, and I don't know why I didn't say it at the, at the start really, um, when I was looking at that, um, shock absorber with a leak, leaking oil when I was talking about leaving it an advisory on the MOT and so on what I, what I really meant then was I wanted to get the car MOT'd and it might still pass but with an advisory um, obviously there was a chance that it might fail um, my intention was never not to do that shock absorber I don't know if I gave that uh, gave that impression um, <laughs> I got trolled by someone by one of the americans well i don't know if he subscribes or he just views but uh i got trolled by this american uh guy i can't even remember his name now i've muted him from the channel unfortunately you can't ban people from youtube channels um so he can still see the video so no doubt he'll, he'll see this one but um he won't be able to comment um yeah he's a troll telling me i'm cutting corners and dangerous and yeah so i could do without people like that it's it sort of uh, getting comments like that questions whether I even want to carry on doing this because yeah I don't know anyway stuff him um as I say I never I never intended not to do this shock absorber um I, my intention was to get the car MOT today and if it came back as an advisory which I think it probably would have done um I would have changed it anyway well that's what I tend to do if a car you know if I if I check the car over and there's things that obviously I haven't noticed you know doing an MOT up on ramps and whatever you you can see things that I can't necessarily see so as much as I can check a car over and have a look and, and you know and try and do whatever I can to get it through the MOT if, it, if it's gonna if it's gonna come back with advisories whatever they may be when I get the car back with a past MOT I will do them nine times out of ten I, I have the list on the MOT I do them tick them off so when the person buys the car they can see that Obviously, it's better to have a car with no advisories. So what I've done, thought about it for a bit, and then I thought to myself, you know what? Let's delay the MOT. The only reason I was doing that, I think because I've got people that want these cars, and I've got someone that's been hassling me for a while. They, they desperately want this car, or a white lounge. They haven't seen it yet, apart from a photograph. Um, and I'm trying to rush it to get it done for them before Christmas. And I thought to myself, look, no. Let's do it properly. Let's do it methodically. Let's do it in the right order. Let's delay the MOT. So I hadn't booked the MOT, but I was going to book it for today or tomorrow. But what I've done is I've booked the MOT for next Tuesday. Now, so I'm going to do this shock. If you follow me on um, Instagram, you would have seen I posted a picture of these um, today, which is for me, it's Thursday, uh, Wednesday today. Um, <coughs> so, I've got some spring compressors, I bought them some time ago, uh, just for, you know, when I might need to do this. So I have changed a complete leg before with a hub, I've done that before, successfully, um, which was on video, I can't remember which project it was on now, Beige Girl, maybe? Not sure, can't remember, anyway, no, it wasn't Beige Girl, can't remember which one it was. So I've done, I've done that successfully the once, um, what I haven't done is changed the spring. Now that scares me a little bit, spring compressors scare me a little bit. Obviously, I've got the things that you, you, you clamp on one either side. You do them up, and it compresses the spring top and bottom. You take off the nut under here. Take, take the shock out. Put the new shock in. Do the nut up. And then uncompress the spring. If you do it wrong, or an accident happens, it could seriously injure or kill you. Uh, so it does, it does worry me a little bit. Um having never done it before i've watched a few youtube videos and it they make it look relatively straightforward to be honest but since i've got this one which is ready to go it's everything there 
the top mount, the nut, the cup thing, whatever you call it. It's all there. So it should just be a straight swap over. And it's obviously for the right side. I assume they are sided, aren't they? Yeah, of course they are. So I don't know. I don't know. I think what we need to do, I, I, I am going to use those spring compressors. And obviously they wouldn't be a wasted buy. Because what I will do, if, if I decide to use that one, what I will do is once I get that one off, not necessarily today, but I will use those spring compressors and take that spring off and like preload it onto that one. So next time I need one, I've got one ready, I've got a brand new one ready to go. But I want to do it slow, methodical, and safely. So yeah, that's that's the plan, I think. So let's let's get the old one off. I say I've in the part the one I did in the past, I, I didn't um all I used was the impact gun to get the nut undone on the top. Uh, when I went to do the one on um, the grey car, um, Christian grey or whichever one it was, I can't remember which one it was, um, I didn't realise at the time that you have to put uh, an Allen key in the top to stop it from spinning, uh, and I didn't have a spanner. Uh, so I've got one of these spanners, which should allow me to get in there and get an Allen key on the top of it, because you can't do it with a socket, of course, because you can't get an Allen key in the top. So. I bought one of them, which is what, 19 mil, is it? Yeah, 19 mil, which is, should hopefully be that bolt. Yeah, 19 mil. So you can get the you can get it on the top and get an Allen key in there as well to stop, to stop the whole thing from turning. Now, the other question I had, which I've not been answered and I can't see from um, YouTube videos, is I think when I've done what, actually, it might have even been that one, I can't remember. No, I think it was an earlier one that I did. It wasn't Christian Grey. I didn't ch change the leg in the end that's why I didn't use this um, but what it was one whichever car it was before I think I took it to Mr Clutch who I was using at the time and I think they said what I'd done is this top mount was on the wrong way around and they said about an arrow now that's obviously the arrow now this is the one I bought and this is how it was I haven't touched this so on this that's obviously the front this is the way it will go around on passenger side so that is pointing to the back now, I don't know whether that's correct. I don't know whether that's meant to point to the back or the front. So what I'm hoping is when I can get when I get that one off, I can get it, I can pull it out and see which way that's pointing because I don't want to put it on the wrong way. I'm assuming it fits into a shape of some sort. But yeah, that, that is my only other bit of confusion. But obviously, you know, you learn these things as you go along. So um, that's what we need to figure out. So hopefully it's not going to be too difficult to get this off. Otherwise, I'll be going... Connor, Connor, come and do it for me. I don't want to, I want to do it myself, but yeah, let's get on with it. Right, so I'm going to set you up on time lapse um, and we'll, we'll, let's, let's just get, try and get this done. It's off. That was a nightmare. That was an absolute nightmare. I don't know if you. I did struggle getting the getting the the nut off. Um, it was a bit of a mare. Um, I think what I'll do in future is that you need this for when you get it started. Uh, but I think I'm going to buy a ratchet, a 19 mil ratchet spanner because that's what you really need. Also, I'm going to buy myself a ratchet spanner, a 15 mil ratchet spanner, which I haven't got. Was it 15 or was it 16? No, I've got. I can't remember now whatever it was on this i could not get this off you see i've got it that far i had to cut it off in the end i've got new ones so 
I had to cut it off. It just would not come off. So hopefully I can get the bottom one off because obviously that is on the subframe down there. So I've got to get that off down there. Let's hope that comes off a bit easier than that one. Otherwise <laughs> I'm knackered. It should be easier to do with the, uh, with the strut off. It's easy to get to. So there you can see all the oil. Now the spring's good. So I am going to keep this for the time being and I am going to take that spring off. As much as it scares me, as long as I do it slow and methodically, it should be all right. So yeah, like I've got a new one of those. So it doesn't hurt to put a new one on, but it just would not come off. I, I think I was ending up rounding off me, rounding off the, uh, the thing in there. It was just slipping. It, uh, just, I don't know if you can work out how difficult it was in time lapse. It got to a point, even on time lapse, it was taking me so long that I stopped. And then it got as far as that. I oh, sorry, I stopped filming. I got as far as there and it would not budge anymore. I soaked it in WD, left it a little while. It just would not budge. So what can you do? Just got to cut it off. I've never had so much grief with those in the past. So that's, your, that's the old one. Let's just put the new one up there to, to compare. Let me phone out the way. Oh, oh that was the nut just hit the floor. And there's the... Uh, there's the new one. I say new one, second hand one. I'm going to give it a clean up with some elbow grease. Let's pick the nut up. Um, so, I answered my question. So when I took this off, I don't know if you can see it, I, I used the red, a red pen and marked it because I wanted to figure out where that pointed. And now I know I've taken it off in a straight line and I can see that that points to the back. So when, when Mr. Clutch said to me before, you had it the wrong way, I'm not sure that I could have had it in the wrong way because that was a second hand one like this which was already in one piece I mean that doesn't I mean you could spin that round I guess if you really tried to but I don't see why I would unless it was delivered to me the wrong way around which I don't really see why it would have been um yeah it's really weird but there we are it's off so I'm going to try and get that um drop rod off please god let me get <laughs> that off I better get some I'm going to squirt some WD on it and go make a cup of tea um, so yeah, there we have it. Do -dum -do -dum -do -dum. I'm just wondering why that's right up in the... No, I see, that's just... That should have been pushed down there. There. Okay. Is that just supposed, that's supposed to move up like that? Oh yeah, it is. I'm assuming that is a leak. If you pull that up like that. I mean, that was up like that for some reason. And there is oil there. So I'm assuming that is an oil leak. Because if that had been down there like that, I wouldn't have even noticed it. Don't know now. <laughs> have I done this unnecessarily? I don't know. What do you think? So if I pull that one up, I didn't realise that those things moved around. I mean, that's dry there. It's a bit dirty, but dry. If I pull that one back up as it was, as you can see, there is oil around it. Hmm. Is that what they do when they do an MOT? Do they check that? I mean, it's quite oily, oily around here and dirty. Whereas that one's clean. Don't know. Don't know now. Don't know if I'm doing this unnecessarily. Anyway, it's, it's off now, so the new one's going on. And I am quite... I say I, I'm scared of these. I'll get these... Uh, once I've got this done and get got it on, I'll, sh I'll show you. But I am a little bit... As I say, I'm a little bit scared of these um, spring compressors, but I'm, I am going to do it. Or I'm going to try and do it. As much as it scares me. Right, let's um, get that bottom. I'm not going to bother filming that. I'm just going to get that, try and attempt to get that, uh, the bottom of that drop rod off where I've cut it. And then we'll, um, we'll offer this up and get it on. Um, so apart from, apart from the time it's taken me getting that undone and getting that undone so far, it's gone rel relatively smoothly. I say, I have done this before, so I sort of know what I'm doing. Um, but I haven't done it for quite some time. And it, again, this is one of those things that um, scares me a little bit. But, uh, you know, we've got to do as much stuff as we can, haven't we? <clears throat> right, let's get on with it.
that's it all done that was pretty painless actually apart from a couple of the bolts being difficult to get off it's all done it's quite quite easy job really so much easier if you could get it up on ramps and underneath so much easier but us driveway mechanics actually i don't i won't use the word mechanic because i've never pretended to be a mechanic i never will be a mechanic i do the best job i can despite some of the criticism i get anyway that's that what have i done with that uh, there it is i might have to renew that because they're a bit one use only so i'll probably renew those uh that's it job done so what i'm going to do now uh, is i'm going to take it for a little spin put my tools away take it for a little spin oh actually no i won't take it for a spin just yet because i'll show you why in between doing this um, I've had a go at the back bumper. So what I did the other day is I used some alloy wheel paint and went over it, which is why you can see what it looks like now. Um, and then I've lacquered it, lacquered it again, cleaned it, put a coat of that stuff on, and then left it about 15, 20 minutes. And then, as I say, in between doing this, I've put another coat on, a thicker coat. Got to leave it an hour. If you remember when I did it on that um, radiator top, I didn't leave it long enough. It has been the best part of an hour, but I'm going to leave it a bit longer. And then I'm going to get the old flame flame gun out. Uh, but I'm going to use less heat. I'm going to do it with a bigger flame and further away. Uh, and see if um, see if I can uh, get it to, to actually work. Right. Okay, so that's good hour and a quarter, hour and 20 minutes, something like that. So I'm not convinced this is going to work. Um... But I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to uh, get some chrome paint. So I don't, I'm not really sure how much heat to use on this, but I'm going to be a bit more gentle than I was the other day. This is even strokes. And I'm getting a bit further away. Obviously this is plastic as well, so I don't want to damage the plastic. It doesn't actually seem to be doing anything. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's going brown a little bit. That's what it did the other day. It went brown and then that brown goes turns to chrome. It's never going to look perfect. I just want to be gentle. And if I have to, I did see a white bumper that was cheap, which was a bit damaged, but the chrome was good. I can see a bit of a shine coming on it. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it's working. Yeah. There's that one bit there that doesn't seem to be doing anything. I don't, I'm, being, I'm trying to be careful not to do it too much. I wonder why that bit's not gone. The bit that you can see above is some of I should have got that off first. That's um, residue from the tape that was on it. Mm. 
Now that is actually looking chrome. It's actually worked, you know. I mean, you can see it because it's a join, but it's actually worked. I'm going to have a couple more passes and then I'm going to leave it. Just want to do that edge. Right, that's it, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> it's actually worked. And you, as I say, you can see it. Let me show you, close up. See it? I mean, it's not fantastic. I say, for, ignore that, I'll get that off afterwards. But that has chromed it. From a distance. I say you can see it and what's making it stand out is that glue above it but if you know if you're standing up here it looks chrome not perfect but i think it was a good experiment and we'll have to try and clean up around it yeah again that mark there that you can see there that's that's glue that's not the paint or well, not paint or whatever it is that has worked So I'll clean that up once once that's all dry because I've got a lacquer that bit as well. So I've got to put some more tape on there and then put some more lacquer on. Um, once I've done that and, and it's run down here as well, so I've got to get it off that black plastic. But that's not bad. That's not bad. Once it's cleaned up, I reckon that'll be all right. So that's the end of this video. So you've seen the chrome's. It's not finished. You know, I've got to tie it up a little bit, but. Um, yeah, it's all worked, so I'm quite pleased about that. It, um, it's worked enough once I've lacquered it and then cleaned up around it. Um, it should be okay. Not perfect, but it should be okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. As, as I say, it was an experiment and it sort of sort of worked. Uh, I took my time on it on the bumper rather than... Uh, <laughs> I think I didn't... I obviously didn't leave it to dry long enough when I did it on that um, cap, radiator cap. But uh, yeah, no, it seems all right. So um, I think we can get away with that. Um, so, okay, so we've done the... We've done the uh, Shock absorber, all hunky dory. Uh, I haven't serviced it yet. I'm going to go in this afternoon and I'm going to um, make some phone calls and try and track down the service history. Um, apart from a apart from a service, which I'm probably going to do on it next week, uh, it's in for MOT as I said on Tuesday. So uh, assuming it passes, fingers crossed on Tuesday, uh, it'll be ready next week. I've just sent a message to the uh, the lady, the first lady who I've given first refusal to, uh, and the second one, and told the second one that if the first one doesn't want it. Or you know doesn't respond for whatever reason, uh, then we've got uh, I've got the car that she can uh, potentially have instead. So um, yeah, that's it. So as always, thanks for watching. When I looked yesterday, I was five five subscribers away from the four thousand. I haven't looked this morning, so I'm hoping we might be we might have already hit that four that four thousand today. But uh, we are very very close now. So as always, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Please. Push those numbers up. Let's see if we can hit, I don't know, what can we hit next year? This time next year, 6,000? That would be nice. An extra 2,000 in a, in a year? Who knows? I don't know. We might do. We might not. Let's see. Anyway, again, as always, as I said, as I keep saying, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you realise that anything that comes up I will fix. Just because there was a misunderstanding on the last one, I, would have, I was going to fix it, regardless of whether it was before or after the MOT. I wasn't going to leave it with a leaking shock absorber. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, stay safe, take care, and we will see you soon.